What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do a day in the life of training with POTS, syndrome, stuff like that. I'm finishing up my breakfast, let's get off to the gym. I ain't gonna lie on those. Felt a little bit dicey. Felt like I was blacking out, pass out-ish, but that's all right. We know we're not gonna pass out. We're just having, to be honest, not the greatest day, but I've been reading a book called How Hard Do You Want It? And the book basically talks about sports psychology and that on certain days you just have to know things are gonna suck and not feel as good and be honest about it and the people in the research study that they did that acknowledged that things were gonna suck actually did better than the people that tried to lie to themselves about how good it was gonna be. Today, came in knowing, hey, you're not feeling the greatest, but you can get the freaking job done. And that's what we're doing. And I ended up with a 300 squat. It's pretty good. All right, and just like that, we are done. That lifting session took two hours, 15, something like that. I think it was two hours, two hours and 15 minutes, something like that, whatever, anyway. So a big portion of how like I actually manage my POT syndrome, like do, trying to be competitive in CrossFit and stuff is making sure that I'm on top of my food. Yes, we're driving a little bit, but it's a safe road. Making sure that I'm on top of my food. A lot of days I have trouble staying on track with like eating enough at the right times and stuff. And that's simply because I just get so locked in with work sometimes that I, I just forget to eat. Um, so th that's one thing. The other thing is that I'm making sure that I'm staying hydrated during my workout. So generally in the morning, I'll drink a full one of these. It's a hydro drug, it's a half gallon. I'll drink a full one with a packet of Element. And I also take a packet of Element before I train with my breakfast. So that's pretty much step number one. We're done with session number one. I gotta eat this food. I gotta pick up my child, take him to school. And then we got session number two in a couple hours. All right, we just walked back up in the house. I have to fill up my water bottle again. And also for me, I've noticed, right? I prep all my meals. I have them all ready for the week to go. So I have, well, not all my meals. I prep my lunch and my dinner. And for me, for some reason, it's especially important to make sure that I'm on top of my nutrition um, especially while doing CrossFit, like making sure that I'm eating enough more frequently because I do get more symptomatic as the day, like as the day goes on if I don't eat. Weirdly enough, that's if I'm not fasting. So like if I fast in the morning for a while, I'm actually really good, I'm dialed in, no like just really feeling good. But if I already have eaten and then I don't eat, for some reason, that's worse. So we're here to pick up my food, get some more water, put another element packet in, and then we're going back to the gym. By the way, another reason why I love the hydro jug and getting that like, you know, this, this carrying case thing for it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my element pack is in there. I pack two element packs with me every single day to stay on top of it. If you want something, if you want to get better, you got to do the things necessary, man. So many people walk through life without being prepared. They don't really want it. Do you want to get better? Yes, but so many people will just like not, not sacrifice the uncomfortableness or just not think ahead so that they can like do the things necessary to get better. If you need help with that, hit me on Instagram, JQ Fit Life. I would love to help you guys out. I'm coaching a bunch of people with POTS. Talk to me, let's talk. Let's see how we can get you prepared, stuff like that. Anyway, that's my little, uh, my little spiel. Now let's get into the regular vlog. I'll show you guys how I work out.
That one was not the cardio, not the movement. It was the heat. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Oh, it's getting hot in here. So take, just take your shirt off if you're a guy. Frick. All right, so this is one of the last things that we're doing for a day of CrossFit with pot syndrome. We're in the cold tub. It's 49 degrees. It's pretty cold. It's not that cold, but it's pretty cold. This kind of just helps bring the nervous system back down, helps recovery, and as you know, POTS, nervous system, recovery, it's all tied together. So this is the first thing that we're gonna do to wind down for our day. I'll show you the next thing in a couple seconds. And so the last thing that we did was sauna. Sauna. We try to do this, well, we're trying to, really? So the last thing that we did was sauna. We try to get in there at least a couple times a week. This is part of how I get like acclimated to heat when summer comes around. So I do it like try, I try to do it before summer. And because we have the Monster Games, which is in Joplin, Missouri, the most miserable city in the United States. It's super hot, it's super humid. Our competition is there in July. We need to start doing more frequent sauna bathing. So that's why we hopped in there. Now we're on our way home. All right, so I didn't realize that I didn't close out this video. If you like the vlog, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. I'm gonna keep talking about pots, I decided. I'm gonna keep showing you guys my life and my journey, my life and my journey through pots and trying to become an elite CrossFit athlete because that is the goal and I think that it's interesting when I have like a nervous system disorder that, you know, may deter me sometimes from the goal, but it will never ever stop me. So main points to take away from this video, um, I make sure to get consistent feedings in throughout the day unless I'm actually going to fast. I make sure to hydrate properly with a gallon to a gallon and a half of water, maybe even more fluids than that sometimes. I take three element packs a day and I also have been doing Gator Lights, so like another electrolyte blend of a supplement. And um, I do my recovery stuff. I do all the recovery stuff that I'm supposed to do, not just for CrossFit, but because I find that it actually helps my symptomology as well. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, again, hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you are new and hit me in the DMs if you want to inquire on coaching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, bye.